Okay, welcome. Thank you. Please take a seat. So, I see on your intake form you've mentioned briefly you've had some acupuncture before. Yes, yeah. yes. And that the main complaint seems to be fatigue, tiredness. Yeah. How and when in the day do you find you finding in the morning, in the time, how are you waking? Are you sleeping well? I sleep quite well, actually, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I, I try to get eight hours most nights, and mm -hmm. I often do. Yeah, I wake up pretty energetic. But oh, then, good, you wake but, up yeah, fresh. Mm -hmm. It's the end of the day, like, now-ish. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I get really worn out. And also, lunchtime, sometimes, I'm also a bit, like, I have, like, a dip in energy levels. Okay, after eating? Um... Is there a connection there at all? I haven't noticed a connection, but I also haven't been like checking mm -hmm. for one. So, so lunch time, you'll have a, you'll have some lunch, and then later in the afternoon, is it you to feel the fatigue or before lunch? Would you? Um, both, but I don't always eat a regular time, so that could be why. Like mm -hmm. sometimes I skip breakfast, and sometimes I don't eat until like two or three. Mm -hmm. So do you eat the healthy? Yeah, I'm trying really hard because I thought that might be the reason. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying hard to eat like a lot more vegetables and stuff. Whereas until recently, I was having a lot of takeaways. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but less now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the sort of makeup of the food: a good breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, yeah, like usually I have like a yogurt for breakfast, mm -hmm. and then I usually just go to M and S because working in London, I try mm -hmm. to get like some random like selection of like a little bag of carrots and then oh, okay. yeah so and like a banana okay I had so a tortilla the other day or something like that so so some vegetable sources and protein ah uh, are you a vegetarian or no I'm not mm -hmm. I just yeah maybe probably a lot less meat than mm -hmm. other people but yeah sometimes eat meat if I'm Probably more likely to eat meat if it's takeaway because mm -hmm. it's like or like a pre-prepared meal. I don't usually like buy it at the supermarket for lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. healthy sources of food. It's important to look at nutrition okay. and that, you, that, that, that it's balanced mm -hmm. and that there's sufficient calories in the day. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some flexibility in that, of course, personal choice, personal taste. But good breakfast and a, a good lunch and a good dinner mm -hmm. is important. Do you take any supplements at all? Take vitamin D, mm -hmm. uh, like three thousand. Mm -hmm. I can never pronounce. It. I think it's IU. Or yeah, IU is yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then recently, I've started taking like a, a women's like a multivitamin supplement mm -hmm. thing. Um, yeah, that's mostly it though. Yeah. Okay. And how do you digest your food? Do you find after eating it, do you feel bloated at all, or do you find that you assimilate the food well? And do you have any digestive? Concerns. I don't really get bloated. It's just very like quick. Yeah. Yeah. Passes through you well. Yeah. And and the, the bowel movements are all regular and formed and yeah yeah no irritability or any concerns there. I don't think so. Good. So yeah. you're getting you're getting energy. I think yeah, it's so. Passing yeah. Passing through you, assimilating it. Okay. Um, have you had blood tests? I see an ECG and blood tests. So your yeah. blood results are not showing any Completely deficiencies. Completely normal. Yeah. Excellent. A year ago. So that was my recent blood test. Mm -hmm. A year ago, like September 2021, I was told I was vitamin D deficient, which is when I started taking the supplements. And then the recent blood test, it was all like normal. So mm -hmm. yeah, I can't think of anything else that was bad on there. So the, the, the level of fatigue, would you term it as tiredness? Or would you sort of more like, like what we call chronic fatigue, where it is quite debilitating and exhausting? Um, I, yeah, I don't really know the difference. Um, One would be like, I, I've got to go to bed, I've got to lie down, I'm, I, I just don't feel good. Yeah. And that's re it's recurrent. Mm. And they feel like sometimes they feel quite weighed down by their tiredness. Yeah. Um, is that something? Yeah, sometimes it's like, I really don't think I should be getting out of bed level. Okay. Like, I just shouldn't move. Mm-hmm. But it comes in waves, like I, like yesterday, I could tell I was like at my limit, and I probably shouldn't have been like moving about too much. And then some days I have a bit more energy, and it's better. Okay, yeah. right. So it's quite quite strong. Yeah, like I can fight it, but then 
I'll probably end up sometimes getting a bit like dizzy or something. I was going to say to get dizziness, yeah. lightheadedness, but your blood pressure is all okay. Blood yeah, it all came all back okay. fine. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's a bit And would that be regular, daily, or just sometimes is it episodic? Is it sometimes stronger? Or, or? Yeah, it seems like to fluctuate a lot. So like, was it the week before last? I was completely fine, mm-hmm. and then this week's been a bit harder, mm-hmm. and then. Yeah, I can't really predict it. Do you notice the seasonal changes and the weather influence? Um, I thought, because it was quite bad in August, I thought maybe I just got really overheated. Mm -hmm. But then it happened, like I was feeling the same symptoms again recently, Mm -hmm. and it's a lot colder now, so I don't really know. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Interesting, just to click collect information and then we can see if there's a pattern Mm. that that emerges. Yeah. um, Cyclically, do you get a difference in your menstrual cycle? Do you find that there's a, I think, any obvious relationship? Yeah, I haven't seen a link. Like mm. sometimes it has just happened to have like matched up when I've got like really dizzy and overwhelmed, and then maybe it is that. But also other times I've been like in the middle of okay. the cycle. So mm-hmm. yeah. the cycle normal twenty eight. Yeah. Plus or minus a few days. Is that sort of regular cycle? I think it is exactly 28 days, mm, yeah, okay. so it's really regular. And do you get any premenstrual symptoms at all? Is it? Um, not really, no. no. Because it does concern some people, it's quite difficult at the time before the period, but mm. that sounds good. And the yeah. flow is normal? Yeah. Yeah, the quantity yeah. and the, the duration, three to four days? Yeah, three to four days, mainly the first day is bad and then it's kind of smooth sailing after okay. that. Some some discomfort is there, or yeah, just like cramps and stuff. And do you need to take any medication, or do you? No, I just power through. Good, yeah. some warm water bottle or something. Yeah, hot water bottle. Yeah. Good, good, good. And after, do you, do you notice the feeling depleted at all after a period? Do you feel more released and lighter, or do you not notice? It? I genuinely don't notice. Okay. Yeah. Hey, okay. we move on to things like pain. Any headaches or any pain? Back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, knee pain. <laughs> <laughs> Probably if I have pain anywhere in my body, it's always like shoulders and neck. Uh-huh. Yeah. And that's postural, would you think? Would it sort of work related or? Probably, yeah, because I'm at the computer all day with my this, this shoulder mm. forwards and this is the shoulder that always hurts. Mm-hmm. But does that then lead to any form of headache on a regular basis? I don't think Not so. Stress headaches or often that's where it comes, you get to hang the neck and shoulders. Quite a lot of people develop this no problem. But with the acupuncture, you can always release tension in the neck and the shoulders. So what I'm doing is screening our system yeah. to find out where and what we can do, what's necessary to release tension in the connective tissues or in the nervous system or whatever it is. I'm using terms of Chinese medicine, of course, yin-yang balance. We can look at releasing tension and obstruction, which causes pain. But seemingly there is no pain. So that's, that's good, yeah. good, good health it's, there. It just feels like tense sometimes. Yeah, yeah. No, and there's a tendency to tighten up and we can re- relax and release that, certainly. Mm-hmm. Okay. But my core now really focusing in is this, is this, this idea of tiredness mm. that, that sort of comes over you from, from periods of, periodically. Mm. Are you taking any medication at all? No. You, do you, I see sometimes you've taken some Chinese herbs or you yeah. currently under any... Not right now, no. I Medication? And you no. Know, natural I, herbs or supplements you told me about? Supplements I had. Mm. I had one previous like Chinese medicine, I think it was two weeks. So I took that. Um, wasn't. I think I probably would have had to have done it longer to mm. actually see the difference. So, I mean, those two weeks, I didn't really have any of my usual symptoms, but it could have been placebo, I don't really know. Mm, but. Sure. Yeah. And was that a tea form or a tablet form or a powder form they did some people? Did? I had like a powder I scooped into a teacup and then I added yeah. water. Okay, yeah. I'm familiar with that. So yeah. Okay. I don't know what was in it though. I could probably <laughs> imagine, or I could, if it's something similar to what I do, that there are some very good formulas that work with things called blood deficiency or qi deficiency, okay. which may underlay what your condition in, in Chinese diagnostic terms may they represent so then there are some really nice formulas okay. that have been around for a long time but have been made it into the modern world as well so they, they've, they've lived they've survived the test of time if you like and there's some, some good prescriptions you can draw from this is I'm a doctor of Chinese medicine so I studied that in detail at Beijing University so I'm versed in being able to write you a prescription which would be similar to another doctor of Chinese medicine with be drawing from the same knowledge yeah, base, yeah. basically um, so you're not taking anything currently? Not currently, no, yeah. Do you get hot or cold? Do you notice? 
So it's really weird, like most of my life I would always say cold, like I've, I'm, I get really cold hands and feet quite easily, mm -hmm. but then it does seem like the last six months, like it's, I'm quite prone to getting hot really easily, mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I still don't know if it's related, to, I had COVID in April, I don't know if there's a relation or anything like that. Was that the first, you had COVID one incidence of COVID? Just once, yeah, in April. The April just passed. Yeah, mm -hmm. and... Part of me thinks it might be related to... It could well yeah. be. Are you doing vaccinations? Have you... Yeah, I had all three. Okay. Yeah. And do you have any effects from them? Do you have any... Um, only in like the evening I felt a bit like off. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really get like a... Nothing. Good. Yeah, my mum did though, but I don't know if that's really... Mm -hmm. There's some mild things, obviously an aching arm, but they might get mild headaches and things like this afterwards. Some people get a, a sensation of feeling unwell and that passes. Or in some instances, there are a small amount of cases where... There's a sort of like a post viral almost experience that, can, uh, that but they're very yeah. rare. And yeah. It's something that's not, that we're not seeing in you. But mm. after the COVID infection, mm. how did you process that? How did your body respond to that? So at the time, I just I took it easy. I like rested and then went back to work full time. You, as feel, usual. you felt fluey? Um, oh yeah, so at the actual time, yeah, I had a bad temperature. Mm -hmm. um, I was really dizzy. On one of the evenings, I remember I was a bit scared to sleep because it was really hard to breathe, mm -hmm. so I didn't want to lie down. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I had most of the symptoms on the NHS website. Mm -hmm. But yeah, afterwards it was kind of gone. Like after the 10 days, I yeah. was back to usual. So you fine. made a full recovery. Yeah. Um, but did, did you mention then you thinking maybe the relationship when you started to feel more warm as opposed to tendency to feel more cold may, may have been after April. Yeah, that's like I've never experienced ever feeling like flushed or like overheated mm. until then really because um, I was such a cold person but again maybe it was seasonal. Maybe. It has been I very hot summer too, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. So would you notice the, the, the heat at any particular time of the day? Um, it's often if I, I, maybe I'm really unfit but it's like after overexerting myself like exercise and stuff mm -hmm. I'm getting like really flushed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you ever wake at night feeling warm or having a night sweat or um, I notice just, that you're clammy or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Re frequently, I regularly. I don't know, like, because I just wake up and take. If I have a jumper on or something, I just take it off and then go back to sleep and then I'm fine. But okay, I do. So tend to, yeah, some yeah. people are the opposite. They want to keep pull the covers up rather than uh, take yeah. them off, for instance. So there's an yeah, indication that maybe there is an internal heat. Uh. Tendency. Do you wake in the night, do you never need to drink liquid when you wake up, or do you feel thirsty at all? I don't wake up feeling thirsty, mm -hmm. no. no. No taste in the mouth when you wake? No. I do wake up in the middle of the night, but it's usually just to go to the loo. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe once occasionally, or is it more frequently? Just once, probably. M most yeah. nights? or? Yeah. I do drink quite a bit of water in the evenings, though, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you stick your tongue out for me? <laughs> That's absolutely fine. Any mouth problems? Any ulcers or anything? Um, no, oh, no. Looks very healthy. I'm gonna take your pulses yeah. if that's okay. Wait, wait. If you let me just feel. Um, you feel the pulse in three places, isn't it? Different levels. Slightly wiry, I would say, but don't worry about the diagnosis, it's very normal. Why is Slightly that? wiry, um, it's just a, a quality of the pulse in Chinese medicine that you can, there's 28 different pulses if you study them. Oh my gosh. Not that I would be profession to say I could detect 28 different types, but there's certainly seven or eight major types that you can recognise. Yeah. Uh, and you're clearly fitting into one type that fits oh, okay. everything else that we're talking about, fits into your um, overall pattern. Oh, wow. Okay. Very clearly. So um, that gives me a bit more information to work on. Okay, that's good. <laughs> um, anything that I haven't asked you that I think that you think might be important? Mm -hmm. Trying to think. I had a tiny bit of like muscle pain occasionally. But Where else? My legs. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't seem to be super frequent. In the yeah. where which in the muscles, like my or? knee joints, mm -hmm. and it's just like the feeling of like heaviness as well. But 
yeah, it seems to be similar to the fatigue of like just feeling like heavy and like tired. So okay. yeah, but I think I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay. Well, f- clearly from what you've told me, my my information would be something. Like, yes, of course, you, you've been tired. Yeah. You could look at the idea of fatigue and what may be underlaying that, mm-hmm. and what we're looking at then at the qualities in Chinese medicine. And there, there is a little bit of. Um, tension in the system, a little mm-hmm. cheese stagnation, they'd call it. it, nothing to do with your liver or cheese, but it's, it's <laughs> what they call it, it's a tightness, and that okay. can sometimes create warmth, right. and what we can try and do is release that tightness, okay. and, and, and smooth it, and then the body can sometimes respond by, you can cool the system. Okay. I don't think it's nothing excessive. It's nothing, you know, it's, it's not unnormal. It's very normal. Mm-hmm. But that's the sort of the area of treatment. We'll be looking to smooth the liver energy. Yeah. And we're looking to strengthen then the spleen and stomach. So you can draw more energy um, from your, your food and your substances. Yeah. I'm also going to strengthen the kidney meridian, which is the, the fundamental base of where you draw your energy from. Okay. So the acupuncture points I'll select will be in combination of prescription that will reinforce the components of reinforcement and also the components which will help smooth and release any tension that's in the system. So really we're going to lift your energy and release any any blockages of, of, of ten, tension. Mm. That should give clarity. So when you're when you're feeling well, you feel energetic, you feel clear, you, you, the, the, the channels are open and you're flowing well. Mm. So this is the sort of direction we look towards to find your know, well-being. Yeah. And that's that's how uh, the acupuncture will put points in. Yeah. You've had acupuncture before, so you know sort of what to expect. So I don't need to be concerned that you, mm-hmm. any yeah. adverse effects or anything. Yeah, no, put them in gently, um, maybe 10, 15 points, something like that, if it's comfortable for you. Yeah. And then I'll leave the room and I'll let you relax for about 30 minutes. Okay. If you ever need my attention, there's a little call bell here. Okay. If it's a soft alarm, it doesn't empty the building or anything, but it just <laughs> alerts me and I can come straight for you to see if I can, if, if you need any attention at all. Okay, yeah. Okay, any questions for me? Um, I think that's everything, yeah. Good. Okay, well, literally, I'll let you get ready. I'm going to need access to your shoes, out of shoes, no, your feet, <laughs> you take shoes okay, and socks I'll take my off. shoes off, yeah. There's some really helpful points as well on the side of the leg. If you're wearing a skirt, it's great, so you can okay. lift the skirt up if you want to. Right, should I take the tight, my tights off then? You need to take your tights off as well. Yeah. Okay. And then laying on your back with your head on the pillow, and you could cover yourself with a towel if you wanted to expose anything, you could then cover okay. yourself. Thank All right, you. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay. Thank you. This other one goes under your knees, just step the weight off the lower back. This is a simple infrared lamp, it's going to keep your toes warm. But it could oh. also direct it on muscles if you had any muscle pain or tension. That's so cool. You feel well? You feel comfortable? Yeah, I'm really comfortable actually. So these are very fine, obviously disposable Japanese needles, but uh, shouldn't cause you any pain. Okay. So I'll put them in gently. I'll work up from the feet upwards, okay? Thank you. Okay. These ones are quite painless. Is there any tension in the neck and shoulder still? Uh, not really. No? Okay. Yeah. A little bit uncomfortable, this one. A bit stronger. Um, oh, yeah. But, uh, it should settle. Are you okay if I place something in your face? Really helpful point here, just on the between the eyebrows, that helps the mind relax.
points in place, so I'll leave you for about 30 minutes, remembering if you need my attention at all, this little buzzer. Okay. All right? Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, take your time, no rush, slowly come back into the room, okay? You feeling okay? Yeah, I feel great, really relaxed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, the action of the treatment will be immediate, but also over the next 48 hours to have a full effect and will okay. stabilise. And come and follow up next week would be a good suggestion. These are some prescription for you. I take three tablets twice a day, morning okay. and the evening. doesn't matter if they're with food or not. Okay. And that will address the underlying pattern, the differentiation that Chinese medicine will look at. Oh, thank you. Right. Do I have to take it with tea or anything? It doesn't matter. No, they're, ta they're capsules. They're, or oh, they're, they're tablets. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so Chinese medicine that's been cooked and then they've pushed it into a powder oh. and then pressed it into a tablet. From Beijing University, it's a really good product. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, and they use it in, the, in their healthcare system like we do. Western medicine, so but neat. so it's a Chinese medicine that fits your picture yeah. really, really, really closely. So there's 10 days there if you take three tablets twice a day. Three tablets twice a day, okay. Okay, and if you want to follow up, you know, you call me and book in yeah. the reception. Thank you so much. You're Thank very you. welcome. Hello again. Hello again. Uh, how have you been? We saw you last, wasn't it, some on the 28th, something? Yes. About three good. weeks ago, I think. Yeah, yeah, quite a time. Four weeks, in fact, almost a month. How are following the treatment itself? Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I've been feeling really good this month. Mm -hmm. I don't know what exactly has changed. Like, I think the stuff you gave me was really working as well. Mm -hmm. But I genuinely feel so much better. Very yeah. good. Well, that's <laughs> a result, isn't it? Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Can I have a look at your tongue again? Okay, I'll take the pulses too. And the, the herbs went in, you took them for the course. Yeah. It lasted probably about 10 days. Yeah, I that. think it took me a bit longer because some days I didn't take it twice. Mm, so you do forget sometimes. Mm. Yeah. But that's fine. Um, it, it suits your presentation quite well. Uh, and that might help with you know, some of the benefit and the better feelings that you've been having. Yeah. Of, have you had any fatigue or any or episodes where that hasn't been so good? Yeah, so there were a few days where I think when I was just 
kind of doing loads of exercise or oh, is it? Mm-hmm. yeah it seems to be very related to the exercise um mm-hmm. if i had been walking loads i was so like not able to get up but not in a way that it's just being lazy in like a way that i felt very wiped out um but i've only had a few days where i was doing like lots of walking or standing like mm-hmm. that so on days where I'm not doing that, I've been pretty good. You're managing okay. Yeah, much yeah. better than I've been since like May, June this year. So, yeah. It's even though, good. yeah, even though the, the, the seasons are on a change, you're still feeling. Yeah, I haven't yeah. had the kind of like hot feeling as much anymore either, mm-hmm. um, which has been good. Um, I've tried paying more attention to my diet as well recently, so I have been eating a lot healthier. Which may play a mm-hmm. part. It's all, all of it is joined yeah. up, yeah, connected. Yeah. Any, any uh, you've been through a cycle, have you had a menstrual cycle? Yes, yes, just finished. And leading into that premenstrually, did you notice any complications or any difference from perhaps previous cycles? Or, no. All quite smooth, that you don't tend to have many, much tension or, or yeah, menstrual they, symptoms? Yeah, they're never too bad anyway mm-hmm. so it's just when people yeah. are a little bit more vulnerable so if you've written through mm-hmm. that as well and now you're on the other side of that that's super yeah, yeah. yeah. and we touch wood and the energy is pretty things. stable or has it um yeah yeah overall it seems to be i always have energy at the start of the day yeah and it was it's only ever after like standing for long periods or like whenever there's like too much walking or exercise like I seem to get the kind of shortness of breath and then like the, the kind of fatigue part but I have been doing less exercise kind of purposefully but also so I did a walk during my lunch break recently that two months ago when I did I got back to my desk at work and I felt really, really hot. I had to sit down. I couldn't move. Like the walk had really, really tired mm. me out. Mm. And the other day, I managed to do it, and I didn't get that. Mm. So something feels like it's gotten better, mm-hmm. and I don't know. If... Your energy's remaining better through the day. And... Yeah, mm. yeah. All right, and it's just not getting like mm. stolen by something. Yeah, it mm. seems to be better. Like the reserve of energy or whatever mm. it is. Yeah. Well, we yeah, we strengthen the, yeah. the, the vital fundamental parts of the system last time and, and removed obstruction to help free flow really and when you are f- flowing freely you feel well you know there yeah. isn't that obstruction and there isn't a tendency to develop heat because there's no stagnation right. that's how we're treating you something called liver qi stagnation in chinese medicine nothing wrong with your liver um but that tends to create heat and, ang- and sometimes that can also lead to deficiencies right. so if we clear the heat and we open up the system so the energy doesn't get stagnant you, you don't get the fatigue um, yeah. and the herbal medicine will support that as well so even though you had one treatment a month ago with acupuncture mm-hmm. the herbs were carried through and right. continued to yeah, cool the system and reduce obstruction and blockage um, I think that suits Jia Wei Shao Yao San it's called it's based on Shao Yao San which is the free and easy wonder it means things move freely and there's two other herbs in there which clear heat that right. can develop, which was your presentation, was yeah. like um, calmed, cooled the liver, and, and prevented it developing any further heat. So right. this is sort of what I'm hearing you say yeah. from from the way we're looking at the the diagnosis. So yeah. the heat thing definitely seems to be gone. Mm. Like I really haven't had it. Like the only times I'm getting hot now are the times I would get hot before any of these. Symptoms happen like after walking up a flight of stairs or something, mm. you'll get hot and out of breath. And I've always been like that, but none of the strange like fluctuation of temperature feeling I was having. Mm. And yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's yeah. what we like to hear. Um, what I'll do today is reinforce with pretty much where we were last time, yeah. taking into consideration your period's just come to an end, um, and then we can start re uh, strengthening. Yeah. system and preparing the body to, to, for the development at the moment in your cycle there'll be a, um, a follicle developing and there'll be a lot of estrogen beginning to grow in your body um, and you can support that part of your system which is quite a, a, a yin time it's quite a nourishing time and you should feel quite stable yeah. um, and more fit 
the acupuncture in around that part of your cycle. Okay. Um, use similar points, maybe a few different points than we used last cycle. Okay. And I'll give you another pot of the shawi. I'll show you how to with you. Thank you. To continue that with that. It tasted quite like I know you don't you don't want to taste like tablets, mm -hmm. but when they did touch my tongue, I got you tasted all right. Like my image of Chinese medicine is like it tastes gross sometimes, mm -hmm. but it was like pleasant. Yeah, well, it's a really good product. You know, yeah. the, 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 traditionally that's the herbs, and they boil them and you drink the tea, and it's not yeah. a usual taste that people are just not familiar with that in the West, yeah. and it's difficult for people to comply to it because. Why would you? You know, of course you can, and it works. It's a great. Mm -hmm. But what the Beijing University have done, this product particularly, it's got a lot of um, it's high quality medicine that they use in their health service. So someone like you would prescribe this like you would in the NHS as a prescription. So it's, right. But it, the quality of the concentration of the substances is, is similar to actually taking the, the original types of teas now. Yeah. So three tablets of this. It's like having a strong cup of Chinese herbal medicinal tea. But it's not unpleasant because it's just a tablet. You're used to taking tablets, but you get then the benefit of having drunk a cup of strong yeah. Chinese medicinal tea. And then that's really where the herbs really do them, do wonders. Yeah, um, I think it stays better as a habit because if you think you have to drink this yucky tea every day, you're less likely to probably... That's it. It. difficult to comply with it. Yeah. So now in a tablet form, but it is genuine Chinese medicines, they boil it up and then they produce it in manufacture in such a way that now, you know, a small tablet in a pot, you can have good, strong Chinese herbal medicine delivered yeah. to you. And to say that one fits you really well, of course, there's probably 60 different pre-prepared Chinese formulas to choose from. And that's why we did you know, careful diagnosis syndrome differentiation yeah. when the last you know, initial consultation to find out what the differentiation, the pattern in it is you, in you was, and it is, as we say, is this little bit of a chi stagnation generating heat. Mm -hmm. This formula was designed even probably, a, I can't remember, I studied it at school, but at least a few hundred years ago in its form, maybe even more yeah. um, than traditionally up to sort of five or six hundred years ago. And it's, lived, it's been around for that long in one form or another, but now they've refined it and modernized it. So you can still have it as a tablet. Yeah. It still has this remarkable That's effect. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess people throughout history have always had like you can categorize their symptoms so i guess someone 200 years ago might have had similar well this is issues. how chinese medicine goes back thousands of years so what they the clever thing about chinese philosophy is observation and obviously they spend a lot of time looking and then figuring out combinations of formulas so it's a history that goes back and is cataloged but they don't just change their minds and do it they layer and the, the depth of thought in chinese herbal medicine is refined all the way through to the modern age. Mm -hmm. So you've got this great wisdom to draw upon. Yeah. And from studying, we can look back and, and find, they, they find pattern to form. So then in the modern invention of Chinese medicine, or mm -hmm. TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, yeah. they made it into a more structured form, but it's drawing on what can be almost 2,000 years worth of observation. Yeah. So you've got the very best bits that we then study, and, and then we can recognize the patterns yeah. and use the formulas that have literally been used for hundreds of years for that type of you know, expression. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess the human body remains the same, so, yeah. And then you say, so you, you're feeling tired and, and had symptoms of heat, and now after mm -hmm. potentially a month later, and the symptoms have changed, and yeah. they're not so, 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 so apparent. Um, we'll give you another dose of acupuncture, give you some more of this prescription. Um, that's, yeah, that's what we did. I hope it is like ending now, whatever it was that I've had. I really hope it's going to continue. Like, however I feel this month, I just want to stay or stay get there. better. Yeah, well, that's just yeah. it. You don't just rely upon dependent on what we're doing either. So mm. we've, we've changed certain um, pathways in your body and, and you've also had a reflection and thought about eating yeah. and, and diet. And, and once you're in a healthier cycle, then you... you you don't need to continue sort of seeing an acupuncturist or taking mm. the herbs. Yeah. But you know that at any time further you come across change in your life and, and if you find that then there are symptoms developing, mm. maybe different pattern shows itself because your environment changes, yeah. then you know, come and see an acupuncturist and right. we so can, can see how to realign your and rebalance your... Yeah. So can you be more than one, like, uh, kind of, category of symptoms throughout your lifetime or you always... Absolutely. Oh. 
Yeah, absolutely. It depends on what we're looking at. So where you are in your life at this time, it's a, and it's, it's not unfamiliar, it's, it's quite common, right. but it might express itself in slightly different symptoms. Right. And yours, we looked at, and, and the pattern is what we're treating. Mm. So someone might come with this similar pattern, but they might have headaches, or they might have digestive issues. But really, when you get down and see what's the underlying cause, mm. then you treat the cause, yeah. and the symptoms disappear. Right. And that's, that's what Chinese medicine tends to look at, is treating the underlying imbalance mm -hmm. rather than the symptom. Right. Yeah. So, to like, if I was like basically back to like normal after this and like this feeling pretty good, does acupuncture exist for like upkeep or is it better to just not? do it by that point? Do people do it for just... They do, and it depends on who the person is, and I don't right. think there's the right answer to that. So if you're feeling really well, uh, and, you're, and, and you, you have no requirement, yeah. but some people, especially in London or in a busy city, they're working really hard, yeah. and they're really stressed, yeah. or they're, you know, they're, their environment is putting pressure, so they then start to feel fatigued or... or or in any myriad, they start to express imbalances. Mm. So I do have regular patients who come back fortnightly or monthly just because mm. it's like going to do yoga, yeah. but they come into acupuncture because it fits in and they can schedule it and they walk out feeling like they've just had a really good reset. Mm. Yeah. So some people do come on a regular basis for it and, and uh, there's no reason why not other than, well, cost. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's one right. aspect. Definitely what do you right. want to what do you want to do? So yeah. you're autonomous for the patient. You, people can go through you know, a concentrated period of, of, of imbalance or feeling unwell and then maybe you know, six sessions of acupuncture on a regular basis will tend to get most things better. Mm. And then the question is well how do you maintain that? No. Well, who is the individual and what pressures them and what's their, their pattern? What's their overall picture in life? Where are they in life? Yeah. So sometimes you see people more regularly, sometimes you don't see people for two or three years, and then they come back with a completely different problem. You're like, oh, great, nice to see you. Oh, so it's this one. Well, this, and then you look into it and treat that. And yeah. some of my patients go back 15 years. You know, it's like, no, what have you been up to? No way. <laughs> You've got a whole lifetime of... And you see them maybe on three or four occasions in 15 years or something. And other people you might see for sort of regularly over a period of three months and then... Then you don't see them again, you yeah, know, until then maybe it, yeah. five years down the line or something. So yes, everyone's yeah. slightly different. Yeah, and I guess we all get different problems throughout our lives, so we'd be back for a different reason, yeah. Yeah, and some people like to come, I've had patients who've come regularly for years because they find it really helpful. Mm. Mm, that's yeah. how it works for them, you know. Right. Yeah, it's interesting to hear. I never knew if it was, like, I think there's a tendency to think we have to have a remedy only if we're sick, but I didn't know if it was like, almost like upkeep or just like preventative. Very much preventative. Of, yeah. I think originally in China, there's, you, know, you read in, in the texts and they teach it like, you know, in a traditional Chinese community, the doctor would look after the community. So he'll treat you when you're well. Mm -hmm. But the idea is if you became unwell, yeah. then he would treat you for free and in more intensively, it's like a, a like a community insurance program. Like the baker would make the bread, and, the, and but the, the doctor's role in the community was to make sure everyone was living harmoniously and healthily. Right. And then if they weren't, then it was his role to make them better. Right. So in that respect, you know, prevention is always better than the you know to prevent yeah. a disease forming. It's more easier than it is to cure it. Also, to, once it has developed, yeah. of course, you then have our tools to help get the person better but so yeah prevention is better than cure yeah. but that's not always such an easy thing to yeah yeah easier said than done <laughs> i guess but it's fascinating i never knew that mm. was the case mm. yeah that, that makes sense that's such a yeah that's a very sensible system like preventing it so no one's getting the disease in, the mm -hmm. in an ideal yeah. world you know yeah in an ideal be. world <laughs> Or an ideal yeah. village, and there's probably yeah. one somewhere. Maybe but. less stress as well back then, like in, <laughs> yeah. not in the city. Yeah, and, absolutely. Yeah. But, oh, thank you. Sorry, yeah. I had loads of questions, but it was already interesting. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, what I say we'll do today, I'll let you get ready. Um, I'll come back and put some points in, leave them in for about half an hour. Okay. Yeah. Um, and if you've got any other questions, then yeah. I'll try and answer them for you. <laughs> thank you. I'll be back shortly. So, shoes and socks off. If you want to take the trousers off, you can. There's a towel there to cover. Right, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I can't talk for you. 
Use a heat lamp as well. And is the digestive system working well? Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. Good. If I use a few points from the lower tummy here as well, it's going to... yeah. There okay. we go. Some lamps sometimes can feel quite nice. Do you think yes, I should sometimes. take this watch off? Or is it... It's okay. okay. This one. Um, oh, there are points there, but I won't be using those ones. Oh, today. okay. A gentle sensation, but it shouldn't ever hurt. But sometimes it's just a slight feeling. Yeah, it's like a teaching sensation. They say it's like putting, if I had a fast running stream, it's like putting a small stick in the stream and you can feel that ah. this is how they teach you. So, you, not that I'm feeling your energy, but I'm sensitive to to your, well, if you're an acupuncturist, you know what this is called a jitchi. The sensation of the, the, the needling sensation. Right. So, someone cautiously finding where that lays in your system, going up against it, but not going too far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah I've never had it on my tummy before. It's your centre of gravity here, just hand breath below your umbilicus. So, if yeah. you're doing Tai Chi, you should always be moving from this core, basically. Yeah. Before I leave, nothing should be painful. Okay. okay. So you should really not feel anything and this should just be able to relax into the tree. I'm using a much finer needle now for some facial points. Okay. okay. Is that one okay? System to relax, particularly the heart. Mm. The heart actually needs to call me, otherwise, a good 30 minutes simply relaxing. I'll turn the lights down for you. Okay. Thank
absolutely no rush, take your time. So we come back into the room. Everything okay? Yeah, it's all good. Good, well I'll leave you with another pot of those. Thank you. Three tablets twice a day, but if you're feeling well you could reduce the dose to just three tablets okay. once a day. If you, you know, but they're really calming and supportive prescription. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Yeah, okay, I'll take these again. Thank you so much. Come back and see me when you want to, really. I mean, once a month's a great preventative sort of measure if you feel that's something you'd like to do.